Good morning, my dear students. Welcome to our session for today. I'm Mr. Stephen Alexius G. Baltazar, your senior high school teacher for Fundamentals of ABM 1. Our topic for today is about the rules of debit and credit. Our learning competency is taken from the Curriculum Guide for Fundamentals of ABM 1, and it goes to analyze common business transactions using the rules of debit and credit. Our objectives, first, is to identify the rules of debit and credit, and second, to analyze common business transactions using the rules of debit and credit. So to start with, let us define what is an account. Business transactions cause increases and decreases in the accounting values. And to record these changes, an entity makes use of accounts. So let us define what is this account about. An account is an accounting device used to summarize the increases and decreases in the asset, liability, and owner's equity of the entity. The T account. A simple form of account looks like a big letter T. Thus, it is called a T account. It has a left side and a right side. It appears as follows. So you have there the account title and you have the debit on the left side and credit on the right side. The left side of a T account is the debit side or the DR, while the right side is referred to as the credit side or the CR. To debit is to enter the amount on the left side of the T account and to credit is to enter the amount on the right side of the T account. To debit and to credit, however, should not be confused with to increase and to decrease. To debit and to credit may mean either a decrease or an increase depending on the accounts affected. So let us now proceed to the rules of debit and credit. The rules of debit and credit are presented as follows. So you're going to debit if, number one, you're going to increase assets, number two, if you're going to decrease liabilities, and if there is a decrease in owner's equity due to the following, letter A, withdrawal of assets by the owner, letter B, increase in expense and losses, and letter C, if there is decrease in income. On the other hand, you're going to credit if there is. Number one, decrease in assets. Number two, increase in liabilities. And number three, increase owner's equity due to the following circumstances. Letter A, there is an investment by the owner. Letter B, there is decrease in expense and losses. And letter C, if there is increase in income. Okay, let us proceed with the rules of debit and credit. The normal side of assets, withdrawals, and expenses is debit. So you have here the mnemonics A, W, E, or O, which means that if you're going to increase assets, withdrawals, and expenses, you're going to debit. Hence, it is called its normal side. On the other hand, the normal side of liabilities, capital, and revenue, or LCR, is credit. So when you say normal side, that is the side of the T account that you're going to use to increase that particular account. So presented here in the table is your accounting equation. This is the expanded accounting equation which goes assets is equal to liabilities plus capital minus withdrawals plus revenues minus expenses. So if you try to see assets, withdrawals, and expenses, if you're going to increase them, you're going to debit. So that's why there's a plus or an increase sign in the debit side. On the other hand, if you're going to decrease assets, withdrawals, and expenses, you are going to credit. Then we proceed with liabilities, capital, and revenue. The normal side of LCR is credit. So if you're going to increase these elements or accounts, you're going to credit them. That is why on the credit side, you have the plus sign or the increase sign, which means you're going to increase them. However, if you're going to decrease liabilities, capital, and revenue, 
you're going to debit. Hence, there is a minus sign on the debit side of the T account. So again, to recap, the normal side of assets, withdrawals, and expenses is debit. The normal side of liabilities, capital, and revenue is credit. So be sure to familiarize the accounting equation and, of course, the rules of debit and credit. So we're going to proceed with our do-it-yourself drills. So let's practice whether you are able to grasp the theories presented about the rules of debit and credit. Instruction. Classify the normal side of each account as to debit or credit. So again, when you say normal side, that is the side of the account that you're going to use to increase them. So for example, we will start with number one, cash and cash equivalents. Cash is an asset and the normal side of an asset is debit. So the answer for number one is debit. Number two, accounts payable. Accounts payable is an account that falls under liability. So the normal side of liability is credit. So the answer for number two is credit. Number three, accounts receivable. Accounts receivable is classified as an asset. And the normal side of the asset is debit. So the answer for number three is debit. Number four, property, plant, and equipment falls under assets. So the normal side of asset is debit. So the normal side for PPE or property, plant, and equipment is debit. Number five, bonds payable. Bonds payable is categorized as a liability. The normal side of the liability is credit. Therefore, the answer for number five is credit. Number six is Balthazar Capital. So, capital is under owner's equity. So, what is the normal side of capital? The normal side of capital is credit. Correct. So, the answer for number six is credit. How about drawings for number seven, Balthazar Drawings? So drawings or withdrawals are the same. So the normal side of withdrawals or drawings is debit. So the answer for number seven is debit. For number eight, it is sales revenue. So the normal side of the revenue account is credit. So answer for number eight is credit. Number nine, land is classified as an asset. And the normal side of asset is debit. So answer for number 9 is debit. Number 10, rent expense. Rent expense, of course, is categorized under expenses. And the normal side of expense is debit. So the answer for number 10 is debit. I hope you learned something from our do-it-yourself drills. And be sure to familiarize yourself with the rules of debit and credit. Once again... This is Teacher Steve, your teacher for Fundamentals of ABM 1. I hope you continue studying about the rules of debit and credit. Familiarize the accounting equation. Familiarize the rules of debit and credit so that accounting will be very easy for you. Thank you and God bless.